Blessed day, little flock. May peace and blessing be yours from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to LFC 3 Minutes Devotion. Today my topic, Six Steps to Inner Peace. Friends, during this COVID-19 pandemic, more people suffer from stress and anxiety, and it affects many from all walks of life. Do you know the scriptures in the Bible offer many anti-anxiety passages? And one of my favorites is in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always again, I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Verse 6, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Verse 7, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And verse 8, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And verse 9, the things which you learn and receive and heard and saw in me, this do, and the God of peace will be with you. Hallelujah. This passage gives us six steps to inner peace, principles that will lead the promises of God. That is, your heart and mind will be guided by God, and His peace will always be with you. Let's take a look at the six steps to inner peace according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 9. Step 1 is found in verse 4, that is, to be full of joy in the Lord and not in the Lord, to rejoice in the Saviour and not in your situation. Amen? Step 2, that is in verse 5a, be gracious with others and let people see your thoughtfulness. And step 3, that is in verse 5b, to remember that the Lord is coming soon and always be reminded. Step number 4, is in verse 6a. Cast out your worry and don't worry about anything. Step number 5 is in verse 6b. That is to pray for everything. And step number 6, which is in verses 8 and 9. And that is to fix your thoughts and to be focused on the right. And think only on the good. And think about all you can praise God for and be glad about it. Amen. May you be encouraged and be strong in determination to do what God says. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. God bless you and Shalom.